guys, it's J Dog John Karshboom. Welcome to the show and a special hello to. I've been trying to memorize your guys' names. It's really important because I want to make sure that you feel really welcome to the show, but <laughs> I just forgot. Jamie Halverson, welcome to the show. Hope you find something useful. That's what we're all about useful and helpful in the garden. Hey, it's uh, now we are coming toward the end of March-ish and we have that urge to get out. And so I just wanna give you some things to do in the garden if you're not yet planting. And pretty much that involves pruning and cleaning up. So if you have any formiums, these are New Zealand flax. It's a great time to go through and take out the winter damage. Now, a lot of folks, over, I wanna say the last couple of years have really kind of lost faith in formiums. What they've done is, oh gosh, you know, the big heavy snows that we've gotten the last couple of years have really weighed down the formiums and really kind of just pretty much destroyed them. But if you have them in containers, you can tie them up, keep them nice, keep them protected. So I still think that formiums are a great, wonderful look in the garden. So I wouldn't give up on them yet. These formiums we certainly wintered over, but it does take uh, a cleaning up in the springtime. And so I go through, and as you can see, these are just some beaten up, weathered um, leaves on there. And what I generally do is take it all the way down as far as I can go. And you really have to have a nice sharp pair of pruners because sometimes formiums are really hard to cut through. But really, it's just going through a, a stem or leaf by leaf. Oftentimes, you'll get that really weather beaten holes through there. I don't know if you can see that hole there. So, what I do is just go through and you just go through and prune it off. Sometimes, too, what you'll find on the formiums is that. Uh, now, the different varieties are uh, have a different degree of, uh, how do I say, stiffness. So, um, um, but generally what I do on any of the varieties is that any of the really uh, ones that are way out or that are cut and bent, I'll prune those back as well. So just go through right now, prune out those formiums. You'll be giving them some fertilizer later on in the springtime. Again, I, I go for those water-soluble fertilizers. And that keeps it nice looking and attractive. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is the show for the day. Hopefully there's something useful. Here is your quote for the day. In the spring, at the end of the day, you should smell like dirt. Thank you very much, Margaret Adams. That's the show, guys. Always live your passion. You see me right out of the sunset. Oh no, color TV screen.